Imagine, since you have started watching this video, you have physically traveled more than 11,000 miles. Yes, you are hearing correctly. You are not a couch potato right now. You and our entire Milky Way are moving ahead of the speed of 390 km per second in the galaxy universe. Hearing this, you must be thinking, Quo Vadis, where are we going? And most importantly, in which direction are we going? If you want to know the answer to this question and want to understand where this amazing journey is taking us, then stay with me till the end of this video. I will answer it. For the first time, it was a big deal to accurately measure the speed of our Milky Way. But it was also a little scary because no one really knew exactly why the Milky Way was moving so fast. A large part of our speed can be explained by the expansion of the universe, which makes all the Kagoli Pines a reason to travel on the described paths in the form of Hubble flow. And some of the rest can be explained by the gravitational interplay between the Milky Way and our nearby galactic neighbors, such as Andromeda. But something was still missing. It seemed that we were going in a direction that we could not fully understand. It was almost as if our entire galaxy was being removed from the path by a large distant object, which was going to bother us, even if we said the least. But more than that, it was that it was not only the Milky Way that was moving in this mysterious direction, but it was also being pulled towards that mysterious invisible object. In fact, it was everything. In our small cosmic corner, every galaxy, approximately one lakh, which is spread over an area of more than 500 million light years, was being pulled towards that unknown object. Now it was not only disturbing, but it was actually scary. Astronomers gave that mysterious object a new name, the Great Attractor. But it was an easy part to come up with such an intelligent name. The difficult part was what could actually happen here. There is only one force in the universe that can remove entire galaxies from the path at a distance of hundreds of millions of light years, gravity. Gravity is created by mass, and the more mass an object has, the more it excites the gravitational force. To pull one lakh galaxies at a distance of hundreds of millions of light years, the great attractor should be very big. And when I say big, I actually mean beyond imagination, breaking the rules of the universe. We usually use telescopes to know distant objects. But when astronomers tried to examine the Great Attractor for the first time, they realized that it would not work. Milky Way's vast interstellar dust and gas clouds had made our view unclear. This area is known as the Zone of Avoidance, and it hides about 10% of our universe. The Great Attractor is right in the middle of it, and that's why its true form has been a mystery for a long time. That's why even after decades of searching for the Great Attractor, its true form has been a mystery for us. We could only study it by measuring its gravitational impact on the nearby galaxies. We had no other information other than this. But it allowed us to determine the approximate location of the Great Attractor in the direction of the Norma constellation between 102 to 250 million light years. And for the first time, we got a glimpse of its vast size. According to our best estimates today, the Great Attractor has a mass equal to 10 quadrillion suns. At that time, that number did not matter at all. There is nothing in our universe that is of this size. To date, the largest object that has been discovered is an ultramassive black hole known as Tone 618. This biomorphic black hole is about 250 billion miles wide, and it gives power to a quasar that shines with the light of 140 trillion suns. However, in recent years, the advancement of radio and infrared telescopes has allowed us to see beyond the ultimate zone of avoidance. And there we got more galaxies whose mass explains the power of the great attractor with the gravity that shapes the entire cosmic web. The Great Attractor is not an object, but a place the gravitational center of the Laniaki supercluster, where everything pulls. Traveling at a speed of 390 chem per second, according to my calculations, it should take us about 95 billion years to get there. But we will not get there. In fact, we will never be able to reach the Great Attractor. 
the expansion of the universe will not only separate us from the Laniaki supercluster, but will completely cut us off from everything. In today's time, the observable universe is 93 billion light years wide, and there are estimated 200 trillion galaxies in it. About 40 of them are in the local group and are tied to us by the Great Attractor. We are at a long distance with them, but due to the expansion of the universe, the rest will eventually get away in the cold and dark parts of space. If you like this video, then like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss more interesting videos like this. I don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notifications whenever we upload a new video. Thank you.